All right, so I want to show you a finished product of what this could look like as a student product. Now, remember, we started with the Texas Revolution as our topic, and we had began with the Battle of Gonzales, which was the first battle in the Texas Revolution. Now, I've added a few more battles. There were more, so this isn't maybe a completed project, but I want you to kind of think of the potential it has as a way for your students to demonstrate their learning on a given topic or maybe even as a replacement for a written research project. So our first location was the Battle of Gonzales. Remember, if we come up to that gear in the right and turn on the audio, we're going to see hear that audio. Second, 1835. This battle started and I can because use the, the arrows Mexican government to move between locations. The second skirmish in the Texas Revolution was fought at Goliad on October 9, 1835. Texas militia member. So the next location it takes me to is Presidio La Bahia, where the Battle of Goliad happened. And I have that audio file playing that tells you the story of the battle. Remember, that was just a recording on GarageBand or Soundtrap or whatever tool you're using to record audio. So I'm going to turn it back on and then move to the next Burs location. Attacked and overtook which is the Alamo. A pivotal battle in the Texas Revolution was the Battle of the Alamo. This siege started on February 23rd and ended on March the 6th, 1836. The garrison of the Alamo in San Antonio... T so I'm going to turn that off because you just you know how that works. Um, so notice at the Alamo, I dropped a few points of interest, and it happens to be, if you click on one some key factors or players from the Texas side in this battle. So we can see a picture of Davy Crockett, Jim Bowie, and William Travis, all of which died in the siege. So think of this as a fantastic way for students to dig deeper. Maybe they're telling a historical event, so they get to show pictures of the people there. Now, I didn't add audio for each of those people, but we could. Think about actually finding quotes or sections of letters written by these men during the time of the Texas Revolution that you could read. And it'd be almost like hearing the voices of these key players talk about their experience. I love this tool for so many reasons. But one thing you're going to have to be aware of and work with your kids in order to be successful is it takes a lot of forethought and planning. Um, I'm going to post a, a a sample template on the blog that will allow you to see kind of a, a roadmap, almost like a storyboard, because your students are going to have to create their content before putting it into this tool. So if you want to learn more, there'll, there'll be a link in the description to the blog that kind of lays out a whole project as well as a planning piece. But I think this is a powerful tool for all kinds of activities with all level of students. I can see high schoolers use it. I can see second, third, and fourth graders being able to use this as well. So I hope that Tour Creator it sparks some kind of idea for you. You think about using it this school year with your kids and have a great day.